we've got one box down here that uh, decided not to accept its new queen and made its own queen and so they're still a bit excited so we just wanted to make this whole little section these 20 hives we want to turn them into all nice um, Langren or Italian bees so they're nice and chilled out so all these girls here they were all really angry messed up bloody wild feral bees that have kind of got their nice new queens and they basically started to hatch out some nice new goldens and so they're really relaxed and it's kind of groovy so I just thought well we might as well make all of them the same I was going to move this box and take it somewhere else but since we've got a spare queen what the hell we might as well requeen her oh I guess finding the queen is always the fun part isn't it especially when they're feral they're actually really easy to find if you've got um, like the proper bred queens I guess you want to call them or whatever and they're white but they see and because they don't seem so scared of us or something which is kind of weird the, the, but the wild girls they are really bloody they're really determined to hide from you normally I guess it's a survival thing perhaps I don't know I'm not really sure so this is our shotgun shell box as you can see my shotgun shells out already because <laughs> I remember which one it is now because it's the only one I'm hope I'm right that it isn't the, I, that they aren't actually got their proper queen otherwise that'll be a bit silly wouldn't it <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's it. help I got a glove full of bees it's a bit like Buzz Lightyear no 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 the other bloke what was his um Woody that was a sneak in my boot but instead it's a bee in my glove <laughs> Shit, they do love honey don't they they're worse than bloody Winnie the Pooh <laughs> I'm just going to open the lid and just puff a little bit of smoke in there and then I'll walk over, go back over to the ute and get my hive tool so they've got a little bit of time to think about something else and then we'll see what happens. The locals have got excited. We've got a bit of honey from our last expedition on board. Alrighty, all right, let's see what we can find in here, shall we? So as you can see, they're still, I only just took them out of the newt box just the other week. They're still pretty well clustered here. So hopefully she'll be easy enough to find. Catch up. Oh, there she is. There she is straight away. Look at that. I don't know. She actually might be a proper one. I might just cut her in half, so. <laughs> That's a bit of a fucking worry. Oh, no, she's in there, so it's all good. She looks like she's all right, so I'm not really sure. See what we might do. We'll have a look at the neighbours, see what they're doing, and we'll know whether she is or not. Hey, right. it'd be a pity to waste 30 bucks if she's all good. <laughs> well, she doesn't seem to be laying a lot. A little bit of brood there, but then again, that could be because we're about a bit of arduous conditions here at the minute. Just check out the neighbours, shall we? Oh, there's a big friggin' cockroach. Get out of there, you fucker! Yo. Anyway, here's me smoking for you. Well, I don't know whether it's just total colour indication, it's also the fact that they're a bit more relaxed. I think that is a wild queen, because when I came back, if I'm pretty sure it will be. Because I think she was dead in her box. But of course, that was a while back now, so and they're a lot more chilled out. See how nice and relaxed they are in the frame, even though they're still a bit toey because they're still a bit of a hangover. But they're just that bit more chilled out. So I think we'll bite the bullet and change it up, I reckon, while we're here, since we've gone to all the trouble of coming here to do that. It's not much worse in life than indecision, is there? Here's our little girl, look at her go. Anyway, it's hard to see her there like that. <laughs> Righty -o. Get our gear. Pop that over there. Anyway, there's lots of different ways you can put these cages in, of course. Like, you know, your little bloody queen cages. But as long as you don't put it on a full frame of honey, like you should put it this, if I was to put the cage that way around, with a face against the full frame of honey, that's a bit, bit bloody ridiculous. But what I normally do is I actually find the frame that's like that, that's right next door to the brew chamber, or I'll cut a, cut a bit of the comb out so that the girls can actually get to her. And I just, sit it around that way so as he can just stand up there because I used to put it up the top and then you've got to come back and change the bloody thing up this way around they can all just climb up the top run around there and see her on that side come here and eat her out 
I'm just going to go and get my pin to poke a little bit of extra enthusiasm through the candy hole and then we'll be all set. So I just poke a few little bits in this side of the wax to give them a bit of enthusiasm. They're going to run around there and smell her and get all carried away and then hopefully it takes them about three days to dig her out and by that stage they will have forgotten this little crazy one and take, take to her and away we go. Well, there you go. You know that queen we caught down at the property? We were going to, um, well, we weren't sure what we were going to do with her, but I thought, well, I've got a little unfortunate little nuke box around the corner here that I might pop her in, even though she's not much of a queen, but she's better than the one they've got, which is nothing. But check this shit out. Some fucking bush bee man left the door open of his ute and had a queen in here. And of course, all these ladies that haven't got a, uh, a leader at the minute, check her out, they've, they've gone to say hello. I'll take that as a good sign that the girls are looking for a boss. So, even though it could be considered an epic fail, it might have been a very interesting experiment. So, just depends on how you view these things. Anyway, we're going to go and pop her in the newt box around the corner while we're while we're suited up. And have a look at that lot. That is insane. <laughs> I think they want a boss. They've actually all run inside the box. Inside the queen excluded the box. Check them all out in there. Hell, I hope they haven't killed her. Anyway, I was thinking about putting this queen cage in the newt box, like, um, and then letting the girls find her, but now that this lot's already in there, I figure, well, that was a bit pointless. We might as well just tip her in here and see what the hell happens. But I reckon if I stand here for a while, I might collect a few workers. Look at that. That is insanity. Yeah, well, you see those people that tie the queen around their neck and then they all get covered in bees. Like once you've taken the photo of all the bees over your naked body, then what did you do? I guess you put the queen on a post somewhere and hope they all go over there. We've had a little bit of fun. We've got some. We've got our other random queen out of the back of the ute, and these girls, of course, have just been tipped in this box, and so they've gone completely off tap and smelt her and gone, "Oh, we could do with a boss." So now we've check that out. That's pretty cool. Flip these guys into here. And anyway, off we go. So this little newt box lost them, lost their leader. And even though this queen isn't probably all that fantastic, it's all we've got because, you know, and what do they say? I guess a shit rule is better than no ruler. I might have, I was gonna pop it in there and, you know, let her get let them get used to it, but technically they can crawl through the thing and kill her if they want to anyway, so I figure we'll just let her go and see what the hell happens. There she goes. Oh well, anyway, whatever. Very good. Oh well, I think that's been a very successful day. We'll, but we'll find out um, another day or two and see what's going on and hopefully they have decided, it looks very like they're very desperate for a mother so the fact that they've gone chasing this lady is a fairly good sign and so hopefully they smell those girls in there and think yeah this is pretty groovy, now we've got a new home out of the weather and we've got a new boss, how good's that? And anyway you might get some nice honey to eat too. If you want to log on to our website and grab some honey, best honey you're ever going to have.